just howl. You just howl. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're gonna check out Teddy Long's greatest one-liners. Y'all have been asking me to check this out ever since this video dropped. And I've been looking forward to checking this out, man. I love when Wrestling Flashbacks uh, does the one-liner videos. They're always the, the best videos to check out on his channels. Uh, on his channel, it, it definitely brings you down memory lane with some of these legendary individuals and the, their famous one-liners. Of course, when you think of Teddy Long, especially when he was in his GM phase in SmackDown, when he was the uh, SmackDown GM, he always had that one ultimate punishment for someone that he wanted to, you know, teach a lesson to. And you already know what that punishment was. You know what? You're going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker player every time. Holla, holla. <laughs> Anytime somebody was, you know, a heel was doing something and Teddy Long didn't like it, the ultimate punishment back in the day was to go one on one with The Undertaker. So, ah, oh man, we're going to definitely uh, go back down memory lane, man. This is going to be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's get into it, player. <laughs> Some, is this on? He's been a referee, a manager, and most famously, a GM. Theodore R. Long has one hell of a career. His charismatic charm made him an entertaining presence anytime he was on screen. Today, we'll celebrate Teddy's career by <laughs> highlighting his best sayings and one-liners. As we list the top 10 <laughs> Teddy Long phrases. Number 10, West Side. In the late 90s, Long was managing in WCW. He was referred to as the Godfather and managed various lower card wrestlers. During this period, Teddy would sometimes shout West Side to the camera. <laughs> it's not known for sure why he said this since What's none of the guys he managed were from california but it was quite funny to watch what's up california and what's going on west side is the best side West Number side nine, is the best side. At your player. As a mouthpiece for thugging and bugging enterprises, Long opened his promos <laughs> with this song. Let me holler at your player. 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 Teddy first began calling his pet Labrador player before then using the phrase on television, where it continued to evolve, as did the holler phrase, as we'll soon see. What up, gangsters? Let me holler at you, player. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Hold on a minute, cuz. Oh, right. cuz. Let me holler at you, player. <laughs> don't call me player. Okay, disrespect, my bad. Hey, hey, <laughs> he said, don't, don't call me player. <laughs> hey, don't let me hear you say player again, okay? That don't even fit you. No, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no disrespect, hold on. my bad. Hey, hey, player, let me ask you something. Hey, don't let me hear you say player again, okay? That don't even fit you. <laughs> player. Number eight, believe that. This was a way for mm -hmm. Long to emphasize what he was saying. The world heavyweight champion Batista, yeah. he's on our team. Now you can believe that. You can believe that. Right here tonight in Cincinnati. Now you better believe that. <laughs> if I get fired, I'm taking you down. I'm taking your man hiding right down. Better believe that. Play it. All of these people here, we feel your pain, dog. You can believe that. <laughs> Had he also had plenty of funny one-liners he would say that were usually followed up with Belida. Theodore Long has seen what that cracker snake, Steve Austin, has been doing around here. <laughs> Believe that. Because what? it's time for the Theodore Long five-minute white boy challenge. Believe that. Believe that. This is going to be off the hizzle for shizzle. Now <laughs> believe that, player. I don't sweat the law, and I don't sweat Sheriff Austin. And you know why? I got Johnny Cochran on speed dial. Now you better believe that. <laughs> I'll be the world heavyweight champion. Now, baby girl, you better believe that. That's <laughs> how we roll. Holla. You can't Holla. go wrong with Theodore R. Long. Believe that. Believe that. Number seven, <laughs> funny moments. On top of being both a brilliant manager and GM, Teddy also had great comedic talents. The Max gonna face tonight than Al Snow. Did I say Snow? It don't get no whiter than that. <laughs> I can see myself right on the cover of the dollar dollar beer, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> Remove this cracker from my show. <laughs> no. This is 
why he's great, bro. This is this is why he's great, man. Whether he was playing the straight man in a funny situation or simply just having fun, Long always made the best of what he was given. Oh, for sure. <laughs> the way he's running. Bro, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Bro. <laughs> Someone let me know the context of this clip, bro. Please. Because it, it looked like he just had a heart attack and just. Ow! What was this? I remember. Bro, he had this. I want y'all to understand. This nigga, The Undertaker, the guy that he's been using as his ultimate punishment on SmackDown, kidnapped this nigga in the, one of the most infamous scenes in SmackDown for history. Buckle up, Teddy. <laughs> kidnapped this nigga and held him for a whole week. Until we seen him on the next episode in a fucking coffin tied up. We don't know what happened to Teddy Long in that period. <laughs> oh my God. 13 nights away. Oh, yeah. It's a call for. This is a 19 hour. <laughs> Bring me sunshine in your own detail. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by Mrs. Doubtfire here at Ringside. Well, no, it's Teddy Law. Hey, Teddy! I'm a moron. Come on, Blair. You put that in the teleprompter. A wallet, a wallet, look at that. It's all right, come on. Yes! Buckle up, Teddy. <laughs> I fucking love that clip, bro. <laughs> Number six, you feel me. Long has previously been referred to as the Ebony Einstein, given how he was famous for speaking in Ebonics, as we've seen already. The Ebony Einstein, Theodore R. Long. Another example of this was when Teddy would finish a sentence with, you feel me. You feel me? Action, entertainment, and surprises. You feel me? You know something, Teddy? This might take Hey, hold on just a minute, player. The name is Theodore R. Long. You feel me? Okay. You I'm feel sorry. me? Not only are you not happy with being white, you went and dyed your hair white. You feel me? <laughs> don't get, don't get me wrong. Now he's not a black man. He's a brown man. You feel me? Well, what about Rodney? He's just beige. You talk about blatant <laughs> discrimination. You ought to be feeling me, player. I mean, Oriental man. What are you? And I want to run the show. You feel me? You run the show. Okay. You I, feel I, I me? Feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Five. <laughs> Hold on a minute, player. This was yeah. Teddy's signature opening line that evolved from holler at your player. It was a more professional greeting, especially when it came to the wrestlers, who typically had problems that Teddy had the solution to. Yep. Graciously accept. Hold on just a minute, player. Hold on a minute, player. Hold on a minute, player. <laughs> Hold on a minute, player. Hold on a minute, player. Hold on a minute, player. On, you knew there was some gonna be some changes going on, and like I said, if you was on uh, the heel of the situation, a lot of times, or you know, the bad person in the situation, a lot of times, the way to solve the problem is to get the Undertaker involved. I can't wait till we get to that part. Hold on a minute, there, players. Hold on a minute, players. <laughs> Teddy Long. If only there was. Somebody that could come out here and make sense of this whole situation. Hold on a minute, player. <laughs> Number four, dance. Teddy initially did a few different types of dances before adopting the one we all know and love. Oh boy. Well, there it is. Long started doing this as a way to copy his infant grandson, who would move up and down in a similar fashion whilst in a walker. Theodore Long. Well, it's the... 
Vince liked the dance and instructed Teddy to keep doing it. It became a dance fans and wrestlers loved to imitate, bouncing along to the iconic Macmillan entrance music. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my God. I forgot that was a thing. Jesus Christ. You got JR out there. <laughs> Bro, when you got Vince doing it, bro. <laughs> yeah, Vince of all people doing it. How about that? Play up. Play up. How about that? Play up. All up. Oh my God. <laughs> Teddy, stop dancing, please. Teddy! <laughs> Stop Number three, tag team match. This was by far Long's favorite type of match. It's yep. quite common for the authority figures to put wrestlers in tag yep. matches. But the oh reason why boy. Teddy is so famous for this is because of how much emphasis he put on announcing the stipulation. I put the emphasis on it because they always told me Vince wants you to make it alive, be alive with it. So that's how I made it alive. A tag team match. Yeah. I'm Ta going to make this a six man tag, tag team, team match. match. An eight man <laughs> tag team match. A eight. Diva. <laughs> I want y'all to understand. If you watch SmackDown, you knew he was going to get you a multi-man tag team match. This is fantastic. Tag match. It will be a six-man tag team match. Tag team match. Tag team match. Tag team match. Tag team. Tag team. Elimination match. Ten man. Even if he was a guest on Raw, a tag team match was going to happen. Team match. Long was able to get the fans so excited to see such a simple match type. I'm going to make this a tag team match. Yeah. Tonight's main event will be a six man tag team match. Main event here on SmackDown <laughs> will be a tag team, team match. match. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a six-man tag, tag team, team match. match. <laughs> Number two, one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Yes! Oh, my God. If Teddy wasn't putting wrestlers in tag matches, then he was booking them to face the dead man, someone who long previously managed in WCW. Much like when he made... Which is crazy. I didn't even know that. Like I didn't even. I, I think I may have seen that like in a previous video, but the I, that's crazy. I think I may have seen that. I'm not sure, but that it makes sense now. It it comes full circle why he would put people against the Undertaker, cause that's his homie. Until the one time he wasn't his homie, and the Undertaker took him on a ride and told him to buckle up. <laughs> In tag matches, Teddy made sure to put oh. emphasis when announcing Taker's name. It's what helped both phrases get over and why we remember them so fondly yeah. to this day. When I started going out to introduce The Undertaker, I thought I remembered what Vince said. Make that name mean something. Tonight, you will go one-on-one one on one. with The Undertaker! The Undertaker! <laughs> Undertaker! <laughs> you will go one on one, one, one with the Undertaker! <laughs> but it was particularly fun to see wrestlers' reaction when they found out yep. they'd be facing the phenom. You will go one, one on one with the Undertaker! Undertaker. <laughs> oh, people would be so scared. Undertaker! Except Batista, nah, he, he like, that's what I want. <laughs> One on one with the Undertaker. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. 
number one. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. The general manager of SmackDown, Teddy coined the oh. famous catchphrase that will define his career. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Long began repeating holla after watching a skip from the Dave Chappelle show. Holla, holla, holla. holla yup. Yeah. Holla, holla, holla. Can I get a holla, holla, holla? <laughs> holla, holla, holla. <laughs> holla, holla, holla. Holla, 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 baby girl. Holla, holla, holla. Holla. Holla, holla. Holla. Holla, holla. It's an iconic line befitting one of wrestling's most beloved personalities. Holla, holla, holla. Cheers. Holla, holla, holla. holla, holla, holla. <laughs> I'm going to make Crystal holla. Holla, holla, Is that, the, bro, is that the pre-clip before he had a fucking heart attack, bro? Oh, my God. <laughs> Holla, holla, holla. If you thought WrestleMania was off the hizzle, give me a holla, holla, holla. I'm a holla, 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 You just holla. You just holla. This is fantastic, bro. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video. Of course, bro. Of course, I gotta give this a like. If you're not subscribed to Wrestling Flashback, I don't know what you're doing. Subscribe to him, man. Oh, my God. I'm done. My head hurts, bro. I gotta go check that clip out. I got to go check that clip out. I think he may have had a fake heart attack, bro. That <laughs> just... <laughs> this is fantastic. Teddy Long is great. He made the best of the situation that he was given. And people remember him. He he was a, a memorable presence. Even though he wasn't an active wrestler. He was a memorable... memorable uh, yeah, memorable presence in wrestling and we'll always appreciate <laughs> his uh, presence in wrestling and what he brought to these shows man comment down below let me know your favorite moment from teddy long i definitely gotta go check out that wedding segment because i i think he had a heart attack in that shit bro i don't know what that was but i appreciate all love support Roll to 150k. I'm still here on Speedy YouTube. Rest the champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace. <laughs> holla, holla, holla. <laughs>